Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Welcome to English Camp. In this video, we are trying to focus on two words, the meaning and how to use it in our day-to-day -day life or written communications. So, it's there on your screen. Check it out. It's there. What is that? Spy and spyware. Spy and spyware. So we'll focus two words. One is spy, other is spyware. What's their meaning and how to use them in our day-to-day -day life? Maybe in written communications or verbal communications. Anyway, you can use it. So let's focus on these two words. Guys, I have already informed you that we are trying to find out words from the national electronics and print media that has been widely used right so spy and spyware these words are frequently used these days why they are used once i'll give the example you can find it out so let's focus on spy so from the grammar point of view spy can be a noun and can be a verb I mean to say that you can use spy as a noun and as a verb as well. Okay. So what do you mean by spy as a noun? So whenever we are trying to use spy as a noun, it means or it indicates a person who tries to get secret information about an organization or a country again I'm trying to repeat it for you whenever a person or you call a person as a spy who tries to steal or tries to get secret informations about an organization or a country and the verb is the act of getting or the act of stealing personal or secret information. I can give an example. Suppose, you know, Indian Pakistans have been leveling charge on each other regarding spying. I mean to say that some of their agents are coming to India. They are trying to get secret information about our army establishment or about the security apparatus of our country. So, you can say, India today has caught two secret agents in the place of secret agent you can uh, write down two spies from Pakistan. The spy here means a person who tries to get or try to steal secret information about our country or suppose about an organization also. So the act of taking the personal information is called spying. The same things can be used in a modified form as far as computer is concerned. Guys, these days we are using uh, a lot of computers. We are uh, the, our uh, phone is smartphone. You are calling it a smartphone. All the information, suppose you are trying to like uh, uh, shop some things online. So you are providing your secret, very sensitive information like your password, OTP, everything. So the spyware where it comes into existence. There are certain, I mean, persons who tries to steal your personal information like banking password, OTP or ATM, ATM pin, all such things that is through online. So spyware has been there in our systems. So it is a kind of computer virus. It is a kind of software, but where, uh, it has been designed to do some malicious act on your computer. So spy means a person, it's a kind of, you know, person you can identify you can see him in your naked eye but spyware 
that has been secretly installed on your system to get very sensitive or financial information about uh, like you know password atm pin like that so spy and spyware whenever it comes to like uh, a person it it's it is called a spy but whenever it comes to a computer or your smartphone it is called spyware so guys spy and spyware has been used extensively these days because of the kind of uh, you know uh, increased tension between india and pakistans even spyware has been installed by some unknown persons from different countries with an intent to steal your personal information or personal data so that they can use it or they can blackmail you in future so guys so next time you hear some things about spy and spyware please be careful right because these are, these are the persons or these are the things or these are the software they are uh, i mean they are created only to create disturbance in a peaceful mind guys in this small video i have tried to explain what is spy and what is spyware hope this is going to clear your doubts about spy and spyware please use it appropriately in your day to day life i'll come off with a new video with some amazing fact about english literature be it expressions idioms all all such things till then bye take care ah uh, yes another things i would like to inform you that if you really appreciate our effort to improve your communication skill don't forget to like and share english care see you